Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, before I start this lesson, I'm going to give all honor, glory, praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakudash. Once again, call Hala, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakudash. My name is Tazamak Amath, coming from the camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches truth and well. Peace and citation to the whole fillet that scattered abroad. And today I just want to go into how Esau's pride is just as Pharaoh and will be destroyed because of it. Hey, because Esau has a lot, a lot of pride, man. And the Lord designed that for a reason. And this is part of the Lord's movie and his story. Okay. Hey, the Lord literally wants Esau to be the most profitless person because... The Lord's literally gonna show his power as he as he did before in Egypt. Okay. For example, when the Lord was hardening Pharaoh's heart, okay, which is goes into his mind, uh, the Lord was hardening his mind to not let Israel go. Okay. After Moses came up to him and told him, Hey, let my people go, let my people go, and he said, No, no, no. The Lord designed that for a reason, okay? Because the Lord wanted to show how great and powerful and dreadful he is, okay? So I just want to, um, let's, I actually want to open up with this first scripture. The Lord Willis lesson is edifying as well. And this is Obadiah chapter 1, verse 3. And this is, and it says, The pride of thine heart, which goes into the mind, have deceived thee, right? The pride of the mind of Esau have deceived, had deceived him, right? Because he thinks nobody could stop him. It says, Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Okay, because Esau's, you know, his main his main uh symbolism is the eagle. Okay, and the eagle is the most flying highest bird. All right, when you go to the back of a dollar, it shows you an eagle. All right, the pride of the eagle is is is, is high because they're the highest flying bird. Okay. And it says, Thou dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Okay. So hey, these people they they used to stay in them caves, man. They used to stay in them caves. Okay. The word Caucasian means cave dweller. Okay. But it says, Whose habitation is high? Let's see if in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground. Block here. Verse four, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, right? As I was just explaining, and thou, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, which will be, the, you know, the satellites, you know, the space stations, it says, thence will I bring thee down, saith Yahweh. Okay. Hey, the Lord is going to bring down the pride of this devil soon, but surely. Okay. Hey, Hey, the devil, hey, it's not going to be raining for too much longer, man. Devil definitely is not going to rain for too much longer. Okay? So let's jump to Romans chapter 9, verse 17. Because I was mentioning Pharaoh. This is a perfect example. It says, Romans 9 and 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Even for his same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So let's read this again. It says, For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And what happened with Pharaoh? Okay. A Pharaoh got his, you know, his pride was high and the Lord casted it down. Okay, and it showed the power throughout the whole earth. Throughout the whole earth. That, hey, the Lord can't be, uh, hey, the Lord will destroy this pride. Okay, and declare his power throughout the earth. Hey, not to mess with his people. Okay. <laughs> Let's get Proverbs. Chapter 16. Verse 18, it says, Pride goeth before destruction 
and a haughty spirit before a fall, right? Pride goeth before destruction and haughty spirit before a fall. Okay, hey, hey, well, this devil's pride, all this pride that he has stored up in his mind is going to make him get destroyed because he thinks nothing can stop him. He think he can't be destroyed. He can't, he think he can't be tamed. He think nothing's going to come and come down and destroy him. Hey, but soon enough, you how Bashimal Shah is going to show you will be stopped, devil. And you think your imagination and your mind could, hey, no, it will be stopped. Right in his tracks, okay? Let's actually show an example of Exodus chapter 7 and verse 3, right? Because Esau and Pharaoh, hey, they're very similar, all right? Esau is a so-called white man, okay? And it says, Exodus 7 and 3, and it says, And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. Okay, verse 4, But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, talking to Moses, right? That I may lay my hand upon Egypt, right? Hey, scriptures say, It's a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the eleven power, right? It says, And bring forth mine armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by, by great judgments. Hey, those plagues. And so the Lord said, I'm a, I'm a heart in Pharaoh's mind to the point where I could show my judgment, show my power to show not to fuck with me. Okay. So let's grab this. Ecclesiastes. One and nine. And it says the thing that have <clears throat> so like it says the thing that have been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is is that which shall be done, that there is no new thing under the sun. So that thing that will happen before time, you know, in Egypt is gonna to happen today, but ten times worse, right? So with so with that, let's go to second Ezra. The 15th chapter and start at verse 11 and it says but i will bring them with a mighty hand and they stretched our arm and smite egypt with plagues as before okay a hey, this uh place of america is known as spiritual sodom and egypt it tells you in revelation i believe the 11th chapter okay and egypt also goes into bondage okay so we are in slavery still Right, and it says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand, and they stretched our arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof, right? As he did with Egypt and, and, those, and those armies and those people, right? And it says, Egypt shall mourn, right? And the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. Whew. Hey, man. Okay. Hey, the Lord is going to destroy America, man. He's going to destroy America as he did before. He's going to plague it as he did before. A hundred times worse, though. And you're going to see that on a... You're going to see that scale magnified on a whole different extent, man. And, man, we pray for the downfall of Esau so we could be raised up where our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. So with that, Lord Willis, let's have been edifying. I want to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakudash. Ba'ashim, 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 Ba'